one of Britain's longest reigning monarchs who also oversaw the Commonwealth and Empire was Queen Victoria, a woman who also was known for being the Empress of India. Her life was long, as was her reign, and she was 81 when she died on the 22nd of January 1901, within the rooms of Osborne House on the Isle of Wight. It was her favourite residence and house, but there was a significant amount of chaos after her death, as no one had a clue as to how to deal with her funeral, as simply no one was alive who had witnessed or planned a royal funeral before. However, there was a lot of secrecy also regarding her death, and Victoria's doctor even smuggled a number of secret items into her coffin, as he believed that Victoria's last wishes would be offensive to the royal family if they were known about. But one wish of the Queen, which was shockingly ignored, was the decision to cast and mould a death mask of Victoria. This was something she did not want. But the influential and later warmongering Kaiser Wilhelm II, her grandson, would insist on this. But it shows a harrowing and haunting image. Victoria, by the final part of the year 1900, was clearly sick and she was not well. She had suffered a very tough year with her eldest daughter suffering with an aggressive breast cancer and also many of her family members had died of various causes. But she herself was ill and she had lost a significant amount of weight. She did not eat like she used to. She was an elderly woman in her 80s, which for her time was significantly elderly and she was pushed around most places in a wheelchair. But Victoria also had a lot of confusion. She wrote in her diary that, Another year begun. I am feeling so weak and unwell that I enter upon it sadly. Victoria had been for some time inside of her house on the Isle of Wight, Osborne House, where she spent many Christmases. But her health went downhill, and the royal doctors decided to then summon the royal family to the Isle of Wight, as things did not look good. She was in her final days, even more confused, but her daughters could not see what was coming, and they seemingly believed that the Queen would live forever. And even Kaiser Wilhelm II, the German Emperor, was fetched to say his goodbyes. The British newspapers also knew what was happening, and they began to speculate, and then reports as to what was occurring within the palace walls. Each day, the media were ringing and telephoning, a few minutes for an update. Government business was forced to stop for a brief period as the Queen was on her deathbed and the Queen had experienced a number of significant strokes and she could not do her duties because she was incapacitated. Also summoned to her bedside was the Bishop of Winchester and a local priest who prayed for her soul and they chanted and sung hymns and doctors continued to provide her with reassurance. However, the royal family were crying and they seemingly accepted that death was on the horizon. They certainly did when they were ordered into the bedroom, one by one, to say their goodbyes. It was around half six on the night of the 22nd of January 1901 that Queen Victoria, at the age of 81, died inside of her small bedroom. The news regarding her death emerged even before Edward VII had accepted the crown and then the news of her death spread across continents. St Paul's Cathedral bells tolled as did all churches and shop windows were covered in black mourning cloth. But inside of Osborne House there was much more chaos as no one knew how to plan a full military state funeral. But Victoria had left a number of specific instructions as to what should happen and what shouldn't happen to her body and remains following her death. She did not want to be cut open and did not want her internal organs to be removed or placed into different boxes and sites. But during the embalming process, there was a death mask cast of Queen Victoria's face, and it certainly is not the most flattering, neither is it the most positive final image of the long reigning queen. Queen Victoria did not like death masks and she hated them considering them macabre and haunting and she did not have one cast of her husband, Prince Albert, but instead had his hand cast in plaster. Victoria specifically stated she did not want a death mask made of her 
and she wanted people to remember her as the Empress of India and the Queen of Britain, the powerful and wielding queen, and not a woman who had withered away, got old and suffered in her final days. But during the chaos with planning her funeral, and the plans to move her remains back to London and the mainland, Kaiser Wilhelm II ordered the royal doctors to make a death mask of his grandmother, and in the confusion, this was done. It was the Earl Marshal and the Lord Chamberlain who argued about who should plan the funeral, and they could not decide on this, and because of this, a number of issues would emerge during the funeral itself. But Kaiser Wilhelm II would have the death mask made against Victoria's wishes. Now, death masks were usually cast straight after death, and it would later be used to make tombs and effigies of the death, and in some cases even statues, that were supposed to immortalise important historical figures. However, Kaiser Wilhelm's order must have been carried out in the moments after her death, during the embalming process when few other people were inside the room, including the royal family, who would have known this was not what she wanted. They would have voiced their opposition, but many members of the royal family did voice their discontent later, and they were offended by Wilhelm's demands as they believed it violated the wishes of the Queen. The mask itself is a rather horrible image, and it shows the Queen's eyes very tightly shut, and her lips closed also, and it's not flattering, and looks rather ugly. It was not the way Victoria wanted herself remembered. But Kaiser Wilhelm later may have took the death mask back to Germany, and then of course he would later be one of the main reasons behind the outbreak of the First World War. Further issues emerged regarding Queen Victoria's funeral, and the planning and preparations of this, and the royal undertakers, when they were summoned to the Isle of Wight, even left her coffin in London. The coffin had been made for decades, but then a local carpenter was asked to hastily make a coffin for Queen Victoria to be buried inside of. The funeral procession itself was massive, and there was even a huge crossing of the Solent in which the Alberta, her yacht, held her coffin was flanked by battleships and the Royal Navy vessels. But even during the final part of the funeral, the gun carriage Victoria was placed on broke away and it could not be stopped and this caused problems and was then ordered to be pulled by hand by sailors. But the death mask cast of Queen Victoria shows a horrific image of her in her final moments. She would have wanted to have been remembered for being the woman who oversaw a great deal of change during her long reign as Britain became an industrialised nation, and she would not have wanted the image of a sick old woman to have been placed in all of the newspapers. The request made by her grandson may have been what they did in German circles, but it was not how the British wanted to do things, and it was done against the wishes of the Queen, who was very image conscious. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.